Hi and welcome to RC Nerd 74. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you the build progress on my Eclipsen Model A. This is a 3D printed plane, printed with a regular PLA. First, I just wanna show you the progress, how the build looks like so far. As you can see, I have designed the wing in a clipped wing design. The regular wing tips, which are 10 centimeters longer each side, are missing. Instead of this, I installed carbon end plates. And I also won't install the rudder. It's just the vertical stabilizer, but no rudder because I only fly it with ailerons and elevator. Today we're going to have a look at the progress on the fuselage and on the horizontal and vertical stabilizer. So let's jump right into the steps and have a closer look at all the details. An important modification I'm going to do on this plane is I don't use the regular wing mount which is made with rubber bands and some PLA hooks screwed into the fuselage to mount the rubber bands. Instead of this, I glue the wing onto the fuselage and for this I had to do some modifications. The first step I did is that I closed the four holes the fuselage has to mount the regular hooks for the rubber bands. Instead of this, I cut it off some PLA of some bad printed uh, parts which I don't need anymore. So I cut out some PLA pieces, cut them into the right shape and glued them inside the fuselage to close the holes. The clean finish of the holes I will do with epoxy, but first I'm gonna do some test flights before I do a nice finish on this plane. Another little modification I did in the cockpit is these uh, plastic stripes you can see. These are just to reinforce the weakest point of the fuselage and this is the open area of the canopy and also the open area of the wing. The open area of the wing will be reinforced with gluing on the wing, but at the cockpit there is no special mod, so I decided to do some PLA stripes and glue them over the connection of these two sections of the fuselage, just to reinforce this part a little bit. To do a strong connection between the wing and the fuselage, only with gluing the wing onto the fuselage, it wasn't enough to have the stock areas of the fuselage to connect the wing and the fuselage. I decided to take some package foam from my old fun cup and cut some foam pieces into the right shape to do a bigger area for gluing the wing onto the fuselage. And I also had to do some shapes into the foam just to make the wing fit perfectly into the fuselage. As you can see, the wing has these ridges here and these have to fit exactly into the foam parts. So I draw the shape of these ridges and cut it the opposite shape into the foam pieces, glued all the foam pieces into the fuselage with Uhu Pore and that fits perfect. As you can see, when I put the wing onto the fuselage, it really sits perfectly onto the fuselage and like this, I have a really big area for the glue and this will keep the wing perfectly on the fuselage. To keep the canopy in place on the fuselage, the stock solution is this little hole you can see where you can put the RC car clip or something similar uh, through the hole and the canopy stays on the fuselage like this. Because I wanted to make this uh, Model A as fast as possible, I decided to not go with this solution because this is not perfect in case of aerodynamics. So I decided to do a modification with magnets. The magnets you can see on this canopy solution are from an old drone motor I don't use anymore because the bearings are bad and the whole motor is in bad shape. So I took apart the motor 
then use a heat gun at around 400 degrees Celsius just to make the magnets come loose. Took them off and checked the strongest pair of magnets to put them together and prepare them to install them into the fuselage and onto the canopy. For the magnet mount in the canopy, I used a bit of elapore foam from my fun cup. I did a clip wing build on my fun cup, so the clipped part of the wing is a piece of this uh, foam you can see here. And I cut it into the shape and used my solder iron to do the holes into the foam where I can put the magnets in. Then I also cleaned the magnets a bit with sanding and glued all the magnets onto the mount and onto the canopy and put the whole canopy together and let the glue completely cure. This is around 24 hours after this, this that fits perfect. And as you can see, it's really strong. I really have to pull on the canopy to get it off the fuselage so this solution is pretty nice. If everything works perfect with this solution I'm also gonna cut off this clip mount here just to improve the aerodynamics. Then it was time to start the work on the stabilizers. First I had to sand some edges of the part because they didn't have perfect finish on some edges. So I had to sand a little bit to make them look clean. And also the connection points where you glue the elevator parts together. These were not perfectly flat so I had to sand them a little just to get a perfect glue spot. To improve the strength of the horizontal stabilizer, I built in a square shaped carbon rod into the center part of the horizontal stabilizer. For this, I had to drill some holes into the rear end of both parts of the horizontal stabilizer glue the square rod in one of these parts glued the first part onto the fuselage, then the second part over the rod and onto the fuselage. Like this I have a way more uh, stable connection between these two parts of the horizontal stabilizer and the fuselage. The stock glue area is only around the fuselage itself. So like this you have a much wider glue spot and this makes the horizontal stabilizer way stronger. On the vertical stabilizer I also had to do a little mod. There is a little fin on the fuselage to put the vertical stabilizer onto it. But this has some play. So if you put it just onto the fin like this you can move around the vertical stabilizer and it's not perfectly centered. So I took some plastic foil, two layers of it and cut them into shape, put them over the fin, glued it with Uhu Pour and then I used Uhu Plus Special to glue the vertical stabilizer onto the fuselage and like this it's perfectly centered you don't have to figure out the center point and like this the position of the vertical stabilizer is perfect. The final step was to connect the elevator to the horizontal stabilizer. This I did again with some Uhu pore. I did four areas of Uhu pore hinges. This glue stays super elastic also after it's uh, totally cured. And as you can see, the rudder moves absolutely perfect. Not a big resistance and the servo will handle it easy. As you can see, the gap on the outer side of the horizontal stabilizer isn't perfect. So perhaps I'm gonna do the test flights with some additional tape on top to connect the elevator and the horizontal stabilizer even better and close this gap. Later, if everything works fine and I like the plane, 
I perhaps reprint the elevator and do the exact same shape as the horizontal stabilizer to close this gap, which is not so nice. So this is all about the progress so far on my Eclipse and Model A 3D printed plane. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Happy flying. Bye bye.